everyone. Today we're going to do an extension on sound waves that we've been talking about for the last couple of lessons. So remember how we looked at sound waves before and you could see them make a pattern like this? So for a low note, the waves are pretty far apart. When you have a higher note, the waves are closer together. A really, really high note a low note further apart. Notice the difference in the waves. So let's talk about waves for a second. We know that sound travels through the air and looks like it's in waves, just like waves move in water. But obviously sound tra travels a lot faster than waves travel in water. The blue dots on the screen we just saw represent air molecules bouncing back and forth. So when sound is has a higher pitch, the sound wave is closer together and the air molecules bounce around faster. When sound has a lower pitch, a lower note, the molecules bounce more slowly. So let's take a look. I'm gonna zoom out. I clicked on the magnifying glass. Here's my low note. The blue dots are bouncing around slowly. If I go to a higher note, they bounce much more quickly. And even higher, they get really wild bouncing happening there. <laughs> so this is something you can play with just to see waveforms. Click on the magnifying glass and you'll see the wave of the various notes. And as the notes go higher, the waves get closer together. So that's a fun thing to do. Now we're gonna go back to Chrome Music Lab. And on the upper left-hand corner, we see something called Song Maker. And we are gonna write a little song here. So the default is that you have a two octave song grid. And each block here is a note of the scale going up and up here in the top portion, you write melody, and in the bottom portion, you write rhythms. You can change the settings here to only have one octave range or use a different kind of scale. But for now, we're gonna leave it at its default setting. So for example, right down here, I can choose whatever melodic instrument I want, and I can even layer them on top of each other. So for example, if I use a piano, and look, the colors are the same as the boom whackers. So I wrote a little melody, hit play. Mm, I don't like this note. So I just click on it and it goes away. Um, I might put that in. Hmm, I like that better. Now I'm gonna add over the top, maybe a string sound. So when I just added the string sound up here that was playing pizzicato, that's where they pluck their strings, I had a sound on every beat and every half of a beat, like one and two and. So those were going faster than these that were just on each beat. I could also put in another sound, like a woodwind. Hmm. like these so I'm gonna delete them okay so right now I have like the basic outline of a song started I can change the tempo faster or slower and now I can add some percussion on the bottom I can choose from an electronic drum kit wood blocks a kit 
Akanga. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with some wood blocks. You just click it in there. And then I think I'll add a conga. Oh, wait, I'm going to put that there. The conga has two different sounds, a high sound and a low sound. Okay, so let's see. Check this out. Hmm. Now, that was pretty boring at that slow tempo. <laughs> let's go really fast. That's pretty cool, right? Now, to save this, just hit the save button and Chrome will save it at a link within Music Lab and hit copy link and you'll be able to copy and paste it back into Google Classroom so that we can all take a look. You could also share it to Facebook or Twitter, but I don't think you guys are on Facebook or Twitter. You can download a MIDI file for yourself if you like, and then you can play that in iTunes or other things that play MIDI files. Okay, so I'm gonna hit copy link and then I'll go back to Google Classroom and paste that in. Isn't this cool? What a quick and easy way to write a tune. Uh, I might add a little synth sound in here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. Have fun. Okay, so have fun with this project. Very cool thing.